everybody. Keith from the Ashland Fly Shop here. Got uh, another little trout spay fly for you. A little soft hackle, uh, really kind of an easy fly. Not a lot of parts to it. A uh, little bigger than your uh, than your normal soft hackle for your single hand rod. Just a you know a little little bigger on a little bigger hook. Little little heavier hook to get it down a little bit. Um, you know, uh, but really simple fly. Uh, I hope you like it. Here we go. All right, so our first step here is uh, obviously the hook. This is the Aquafly's uh, traditional steelhead uh, hook that they have. They're relatively new. I really like them. Uh, it's a little heavier, so it's uh, gonna get you down there a little bit. This one isn't some size 12. Um, yeah, here we go. All right, so I'm gonna start my thread here and get moving. All right, step two is really uh, just putting a little bit of this French tinsel on. This is the Vivas, uh, this is a medium. I, I like the size, it just kind of pops and stands out just a little bit. So, you know, for me, five or six inches of this does four or five flies, you know, so I just, I get a little bit of extra off. Hey, a little trick, you know, keep this stuff from unwinding and just put it back in its little holder up here and then it won't unwind. Same with all your wires, stuff like that. You could tie this on the top, the bottom, doesn't really matter. Um, but I'm just tying it on the top today to Get it where I want. All right. Ordinarily, I would just have this uh, this floss in a in a bobbin, but um, I don't have an extra bobbin with me today. I didn't bring one for some reason. Could have grabbed one off the shelf, but I didn't. Uh, using gold, you know, you can use whatever color you want here. Uh, I got one in a chartreuse. I do them in black. I do them in. Uh, you know, kind of a red color, orange for that, you know, the partridge and orange kind of color. So it, it, it's, you know, it really doesn't matter what color you use. Just go ahead and uh, pick out, you know, the colors that's appropriate to, to the water you're fishing there. And I'm gonna tie in this boss on the top too. All right, and then I'm just gonna wrap it nice and, this is really a lot easier when you do it with a bobbin, but I, like I said, I was lazy and didn't grab another one from the house. Just nice and even. That should do it right there. Take our tinsel, nice even wraps. You know, you could use copper wire here or gold wire, silver wire if you wanted to, to make a little heavier just to get it down. Um, if you're fishing heavy water, things like that. Uh, dubbing, you know, just pick a dubbing that's appropriate to your color uh, for what you're doing. Doesn't matter, you can use sparkly dubbing, you can use, uh, this is just a, a, a Angora dubbing that I had laying around. I never really get too crazy about this, I'm just using it to prop up my uh, my hackles here in a minute. It's kind of going to be hidden for the most part anyways back there in this fly. Let's get a little bit more. I like a little bigger dubbing ball so that things in here just kind of 
stand up real well. There we go. And then I'm just going to push that back a little bit, make it nice and tight and neat. There we go. All right. Uh, you know, our soft tackle for this, uh, I'm actually just using a, a Chinese saddle hackle. You know, this one happens to be from Hairline. You can use Schlop in here. You can use uh, uh, just about any of these kind of soft, big webby hackles that you find, that, that'll that work. Um, see, that one looks good. So. Here's my choice for this fly. First thing I'm gonna do though, is I'm gonna rip some of this off. I really like this kind of, you know, fuzzy, almost marabou-ish kind of stuff in the bottom of my flies here. It just gives them a lot of wiggle. So what I'm gonna do is just take and pull them together and stack them, right? Get it so that they kind of align to the back. And that looks about right. I just really like this wiggliness in the back of this fly as it floats around. Adds a lot of life to it. Come down. Let's get rid of that right there. That's going to be bothersome to me later. There we go. And yeah, just play with it, you know, that looks good. That'll, you know, think about what that's going to do in the water that, that kind of undulation. So a little bit of flash in there. This happens to be crystal flash. You can use whatever you got, but I like the size of this a lot. So I'm just kind of folding it over say fours for this one right in then I'm just gonna hold it back in place when I tie it then I'll I'm gonna leave it for now till I get my hackle on there and then I'll cut it to the appropriate length that I want So, let's see, so here's my hackle and I'm kind of prepping it. As you can see, I am i don't want these little short ones, but I want to start getting some of this longer stuff, this, you know, more webby stuff down in here, not the, the kind of tighter stuff up top, but maybe I'll even come down into here a little bit. I'm going to get rid of some of this because that's going to be where I actually tie it in there. So, you know, that's what it looks like when I prep it. Maybe even it up just a little bit more there. There we go. Just like that. Come back on it so it stays. Get rid of that. Now, you know, take your little scissor, do the scissor trick on this. You want to do it real carefully though, otherwise you cut those barbs off. Just to kind of soften it up, get them ready to fold. And we're just gonna pull it back, mold it over. Make sure you're getting all your stuff out from under it. getting everything out from under it. You know, when you get it kind of tied up like that, you can always kind of come backwards if you're getting your tips tied in there. Keep going with it. There we go, that's looking good. Maybe one more turn. So that looks pretty good right there. Doesn't take a whole lot to make this work, you know? 
all we're really trying to do is get these pieces to wiggle around, maybe look like legs. Just give it a little life, like I said earlier. And then all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull this back, pull all my little ankle pieces back and just start to build a head. Don't worry about your little stragglers. You can get rid of those later if you want, like right now. You can even come back in and grab them again. Try and get rid of them. Pick them off if you want. Oh, my big fat fingers can't grab them. Just make a nice little head. That's looking good. Now, come back in here and I wanna take these little flash pieces and actually make them just a little bit longer than my hackle. So can you see what I'm doing there? Get them all. At one time, it'll be a lot easier for you. And just come back and right in there. Put your favorite knots in there. I'm gonna come over with some half hitches. You can whip finish that if you want. Um, you know, with glues and stuff, I just don't. A little bit of UV glue here. You can use any sort of head cement or anything you want there, but um, I use this because it's just so fast and I like the way it looks too. All right, that's it. So here you go. This is my little Trout Space Soft Tackle. Um, you know, kind of a very traditional looking little fly that, you know, just swims around, makes the fish want to eat it. And, uh, you know, like I said, you can tie it in kind of different colors, different, uh, you know, shades of olive. I do olive here a lot, do uh, olive in kind of this reddish brown. I think they call it fiery brown. Um, all right, so here you go. You know, the uh, this is kind of what they look like when they're done. Uh, like I said, you could do a bunch of different colors. I do these in orange. I do them in, uh, you know, olive, brown. Um, really nice for the trout spay rods, you know. Uh, all right, there you go. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a nice day and go catch a bunch of fish with it. Thank you.